Sixteen common English collocations with the word time from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, spend time. This means to pass your time doing some activity. For example, I spend a lot of time studying English. Number two, waste time. To do something that is not a good use of time. For example, stop wasting time playing computer games and get to work. Number three, make time for. To create time in a busy schedule. I need to make time for exercise. Maybe I can go to the gym before work. Number four, save time. When something helps you get extra time because it's efficient. Shopping online saves me time because I don't have to wait in line at the store. Number five, free time or spare time is time when you have no obligations and you can do what you want. In my free time, I enjoy reading, painting, and cooking. Number six, have time, be available to do something. I'd like to take violin lessons, but I don't have enough time. Number seven, kill time, or pass the time. Do something to make the time pass faster while waiting. Let's bring some magazines to help pass the time on the flight. Number eight, take your time. This phrase means you can use as much time as you want. You don't have to go fast. I like all these computers. I'm not sure which one to buy. That's okay. Take your time. Number nine, on time, on schedule. At the right time, it's important to arrive on time for a job interview. Number ten, just in time, at the perfect time, soon before something else happens. Hi, Henry. Have a seat. You got here just in time for dinner. Number eleven, have a hard time, or have a rough time. This means something difficult or a difficult period in life. I'm having a hard time solving this math problem. Could you help me? Number twelve. It's about time. This expression means finally. It's about time they fixed the air conditioner. It's been broken for three years. Number thirteen. Pressed for time. In a rush, in a hurry. Sorry, I can't talk at the moment. I'm pressed for time. Can I call you back later? Number fourteen, run out of time. This means to have no more time before the limit. I ran out of time to finish the test, so I didn't answer the last five questions. Number fifteen. Stall for time, delay. My son didn't want to go to bed, so he tried to stall for time by asking me to read him another bedtime story. Number sixteen, take time off, not go to work. I'm taking some time off in July to go camping with my family. Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.